Yeah. All right, I really kind of miss uh, the bands. Next month is reggae month, and for some strange reason, I think we're going to have some bands on the Wednesdays next month. Let's hope. All right, so that was a rewind band performance, of course, from O'Shane Mac McHugh, I think it is. You know, if you ask anyone what their New Year's resolution is, chances are they'll say they're going on a diet, which may or may not include calorie counting. So this morning we have invited nutritionist Dr. Joan Smith to discuss whether calorie counting really works. Morning, Doc. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi, good morning, and thank you for having me. Yeah, man. Thank you. How are you? hope the year started brilliantly, and I pray that it is going to be your best year ever. Yes, this is wonderful. And I hope the year started well for you as well. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Doc, how much okay, calories do okay. we have in my body? Anything that, that makes sense? We have calories in my body? Because I always people, hear people say, you're going to lose this calorie, you're going to get... So we have calories in our body, whether we're eating anything or not? Yes, we do. Our bodies store calories. So we have a lot of calories on our skin, around our organs. We already have calories inside of our body. Yes. Is, there a, is there a specific amount? Add me. Is there a specific amount of calories that we have? So it depends on our age, it depends on our sex, and our height, and our weight. So all of these things make up the amount of calories we already have in our bodies, the amount of calories we need to be able to function properly. Because yeah. our body needs to function, our hearts need to beat, our organs need to function, we need to be able to digest our food. So all of these things require energy. So we already have those kind of, those energies stored already in our okay. bodies. Okay. Forgive yes. my ignorance. We can have too many calories. You can. We can. So that is why a lot of persons want to know: if I'm eating and I'm trying to make sure that I'm eating properly, why am I still gaining weight, or why am I still having an issue trying to maintain the weight I'm trying to maintain? And that's because sometimes we are eating calories but not eating the right kind of calories. And that's also important. And as a lay person like myself and so many other average Joes and Jills out there, how I know um, what to eat to get the right calories and the right amount of calories and stuff like that? Okay, good question. So think about our bodies as, um, as this glass. So I have a glass here that I'm going to show you. Yep. So we eat calories. So I have a glass here. So we eat calories. So we eat like our breakfast and our lunch and dinner. But sometimes we have snacks that may influence how we eat, all right? And we may have something called empty calories. Now, you see the spaces in between here? Yeah. These are nutrients that we might be missing from our diet. And those nutrients are important for our body to function properly. Now, calories help us to feel full. They help us to function properly. But if you're missing the necessary nutrients, then our bodies cannot function appropriately. And that is important, as some persons may not realize that the nutrients we get from our food is also important, not only the calories. Yeah, the question I ask that if we're, we can have too many calories, if that is the case, how I get rid of it? All right, so when you are trying to get rid of calories, as you would say, now when you are eating your foods and you're trying to see how can I get rid of the extra calories? Now what you will do is decrease the amount of um, high fat foods you may be consuming or the amount of high carbohydrate foods you may be consuming. Because say for instance, a person may have um, like they have a yam or they have like stew chicken in the morning for breakfast or they may have like a donut or those things for snacks. All of these foods may affect all our calorie intake and if we don't prepare them in the right way, we may have too much calories. And then our bodies have a hard time getting rid of the extra calories because, yes, our bodies need it. But if we have too much calories, then our body has a hard time getting rid of it by, because, remember, our body uses the calories that we get for energy. So the energy we need for walking, for running, for just doing normal activities. And sometimes the calories that we have, we may not, be, we may not think about it but our body either gets rid of it or stores it. And that's why it's important to try and get the right amount, of, the right kind of calories in our diet. Yep. And I see how some food items there, and it's important when we are eating that we eat the right kind of calories. So let us talk about um, the foods that you have there displayed for our viewers. Okay. Tell me, I guess we have bananas, we have crackers, we have... Uh, Banana chips, apple, popcorn. Um, right. I think, I think that's one of the so soda, one of the sodas. How 
how I know what to pair with what. All right. So it's an important thing to remember is variety is key, but also you're trying to reduce the amount of empty calories. So let's take, for instance, all of the snack foods you have there. So the soda, the mm -hmm. banana chips and stuff. Mm -hmm. We want to try and get those out of our diet. But we also want to ensure that we get our natural foods and natural nutrients. So you like the, the right. So you have the banana chips there. Um, so the banana chips, if you want to consume a pack of banana chips, that's about 110 calories right there mm -hmm. in our diet. Now, to in, get, get an idea of how much calories you usually have in our diet, a normal person would have about 2000 calories, which is needed for a regular on a regular day. Now, if 110 calories is coming from just one pack of banana chips, which is a snack item, then you can see that your, your, your rest of your diet needs to be able to consume proper calories, proper nutrients from our diet. So let's go to our yam. So I see you have yam there. Yep. And what else do you have on the table? We have, but, but wait, what about popcorn, by the way? But don't go, don't go too far. What about popcorn? Sure. Popcorn is so all popcorn, right? Popcorn, yes, popcorn is fine, but a lot of persons add too much salt and butter to popcorn. Okay. And the butter is what adds extra calories that we don't really need. But popcorn is a really nice snack to have because you have like about um, 20 to 30 calories per ounce of pop pop popcorn. And that is not a lot, but it's also a good snack that you can have. Okay, eggs, we have yeah. some eggs here. Right, so eggs, eggs are a very good source of protein, but they're also um, high in calories, especially when they're prepared fried. So if you want to boil them, you get about a um, hundred calories from an egg. So it's, it's, it's a good in terms of getting the amount of protein that you need. And you also have some nutrients that we need, but you just have to make sure that you prepare it in the right way. So if you want to eat an egg, you can boil it and you can have it with your meat. So you are saying it's better to boil the egg than any other? Yes, than to fry it or scramble yeah, it. I jumped in on you when you said yam. Tell me about the yam now. Okay, so yam is, a, is very good to have in your diet because it has um, natural fibers that can help us with our digestion and it also has nutrients that we may not get from other foods. So if you have yam, you can have a slice of yam or two slices and you can boil it and you can have it with your meal. And it's, a, it's important to add our natural Jamaican foods in our diet. So you have the yam, you have the plantain, but a lot of persons when they're eating plantain, they like to fry the plantain. Now, I always tell persons, why don't you, why not just roast it or bake it? That's another way, good way of getting um, the plantain that you want to have in your diet. You can prepare it another way, which doesn't add too much calories to your diet. Yeah. Green, green leafy vegetables, I think that's good for everybody, don't? So green leafy vegetables, yes. So we have a lot of lettuce. So lettuce actually adds uh, about 15 calories per um, 100 gram, which is about a, a half a cup. So 15 calories, so you can have lettuce. And you can add to your lettuce, your carrots, you can add your cucumber, the other vegetables that keep it nice and healthy because we need to have fiber in our diets, but you also help to reduce the amount of calories that you consume because yeah. vegetables help, do really help to pull you up. But then you can also have it with your protein and the protein you need to ensure that you prepare the right way. So not to stew it or curry it, but to bake it or even steam it or roast it yeah, is better. But, but you can't have too much of green vegetables, can you? You can't have too much of it, but you can't really eat a lot of it either because you will feel full very quickly. Okay. Um, well, banana, good for you again. All right. So is it a green banana or the ripe banana? Right. This one is ripe banana. Well, yeah, kind of look like it did green <laughs> one time. But it, so what? There's a difference here. Okay. Obviously. So ripe banana is fine. You can have the ripe banana. Ripe banana adds about um, 50 calories to our diet. It's not that much. Um, if you want to have the ripe banana, or if you, can have, if, you, if you want to have the green bananas, you can have it as well. Green bananas add a lot of fiber to our diet. So you can also have it um, boiled with our meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, we're out of time, but two quick questions. I think you said we need sure. 2,000 calories per day. Is that what you said? An average person. 2,000 for the entire no. day? Yes. All right. And the final question is, I know when you buy packaged stuff, you will see what's in it and how many calories. And right. the, what about, as you said, like yam? How are we going to know how much calorie in, in yam and banana and stuff that you don't see it packaged or it's not written down? How would the average right. person know that? 
That's a good question. So when you see a pack, when you see like yam and banana and those things that are not packaged, it's usually helpful to ask a nutrition professional or even some of the information is available online. But if you ask a nutrition professional, you can get an idea mostly for local foods, um, how much calories is actually in that item. And as I said, ne um, Neville, reading food labels is important. Knowing how much servings is actually in a food item is also important, which some persons don't realize. So say for um, a package item, you might see this, they say 110 calories, but they say 110 calories per serving. And then you have a lot of servings in that package that you don't realize. Yeah, Dr. Joe, I'm so producing. We produce have with? variety and we can consume a healthy diet, um, looking at the calories that we consume and looking at how we can get the right amount of nutrients in our bodies. All right, the producer won't kill me because I should have done for a long time. But final question, um, and I, need, I need a quick answer. The only thing, I've said this before, the only thing I eat that I really don't want to eat is bread. What kind of calories are we talking about there? Because sometimes I feel like I get a little thing here. So, but <laughs> so hard or bread has about 150 calories per slice. Per slice. So, per slice, yes. Yeah. And that's um, 50 grams. So if you have four slices, you can imagine how much calories you're going to be having if you have um, four slices of hard bread for breakfast. Uh. So you need to think about that in relation <laughs> to the rest of your day where you may be having um, over 1,000 or two, um, 1,500 calories in the rest of your meals. Yeah. So careful with the bread. Careful with the bread. All the very and best. All the very best to you and your family. Uh, great to see you. We're very, very impressed with your knowledge and, and beautifully no explained. God Thank bless. You. God bless. Registered, Thank you. God bless you too. Yeah, man. Registered Thank nutritionist, Dr. Joan Smith. I'm going to take a break, folks. ATL Automotive Initiative is up next. I'm going to go outside for that. Stay with us, please. Soon come.